Hello, everybody. Welcome to Toilet Talk. Do you hate ugly medical equipment in the bathroom? Do you want to learn about changes that you can make that help you stay safe and independent taking care of yourself and your family members, but you do it discreetly so it matches your aesthetics? Well, you are in the right place. Toilet Talk is a really short, quick show where we talk about products and changes that you can make in the bathroom so that you can stay safe and independent while going to the bathroom, taking showers, getting ready uh, at the sink, doing all the things you need to do every day uh, without having the ugly medical equipment that is really unsightly. So I'm Maria. Um, my name is Maria Lindbergh. There we go. Uh, I'm the owner of Stay at Home Solutions, and I really am so happy to share this with you because I've been wanting to do toilet talk for a while now. Um, I love helping people figure out how they can stay in their homes for a lifetime and take care of themselves. That's because I'm an occupational therapist. And so what that means is I help people do those everyday activities that occupy their time, like going to the bathroom. So you know that I absolutely have to talk about the toilet for the first toilet talk. So I want <laughs> So today, um, it, and this can be an awkward topic, right? Like this is something that, you know, just as a background, I was a caregiver to my grandparents and they were in their 90s and they came to a point where things in the bathroom were harder for them to do. And with that generation especially, it was very difficult for them to talk about it. They, they didn't want to say, um, or they didn't want to tell me, oh, I'm having a harder time getting on and off the toilet or wiping my bottom or anything like that. So here in Toilet Talk, we're here, we're here about uh, pretty bathrooms. We're here about making your time on the porcelain throne easier. Um, and I want you to stay tuned for later in the month. Now, if you can hear me, I want you to go ahead and hit the like button and um, um, yeah, go ahead and hit the like button like button if you can hear me and let's go ahead and get started talking about um, my toilet which is a chair height toilet so i before i show it to you chair height toilets also go by the names comfort height toilets and ada toilets and guess what i i did clean it up for you today i'm just kidding i'm i'm a neat freak so it's always clean but anyway so we're gonna take a look here. As you can see, chair height toilets look like just any other toilet that you would find in anyone else's home. Um, but the difference is regular height toilets from the floor to the seat are typically about you know, 15, 16 inches tall. With a chair height toilet or comfort high ADA toilet, from the floor to the seat is typically 17, 18, 19, even 20 inches tall. So having a chair height toilet can be nice for people because um, for taller people, if you're over five feet, four inches or so, it can be easier for you to get up and or on and off the toilet. Um, this particular brand is Vortens, V-O-R-T-E-N-S. It's it's totally normal. You would you would never have any idea that this toilet um, was a tall toilet. You would prob if you came on over to my house and used it, you would probably just notice that it sits up a little bit taller. So um, back to me. Um, so yes, like I was saying. Um, when you have chair height or comfort height toilets, it does make it easier for taller people to get on and off the toilet. It makes it easier for taller people to get in the best position that they need to get in to wipe their bottoms after going to the bathroom. So th those are all great benefits. You're not using um, those bedside commodes. They're also called three-in-one commodes. Those things, I, I mean, they're great. They serve a purpose short term, but if you are in need of a taller toilet for the long term, then a comfort high toilet is for you. 
that way you're not having to have, I mean, sitting on that hard plastic on those commodes or those stool risers, the plastic things that go um, sit on top of the toilet bowl, those things are made of plastic. They're hard to clean. They don't feel good on your bottom. So getting a comfort high toilet would be a good option for you so that you can do what you need to do, uh, do your daily duties uh, in more comfort and have it match your bathroom better. Now, there's all kinds of different brands for comfort high toilets. They come in a wide range of prices too. So you can find more inexpensive ones for around $100, but just like anything else, you can find comfort high toilets that are more costly into the hundreds or even for really fancy ones, the thousands. So, um, oh, I'm, I'm waving at you, Evangeline Interiors. Thank you for joining me on Toilet Talk. Um, so, uh, I would highly recommend Comfort High Toilets for, for the long term. If you're planning, if you are helping out your mom and dad or your grandfather and grand, grandmother, and they're people who are starting to have a hard time getting on and off the toilet, then this may be something you want to look into if they're wanting to stay in their own homes. Now, I, I will also say side note, if you are helping a family member and they're looking at like a senior living community, um, they, those type of communities, they're starting to go ahead and put in those comfort high toilets, those taller toilets, ADA toilets, chair high toilets. Um, but I do want to say there's only one caveat and I'm going to share a personal story. So, um, and, and I, I have to preface this by saying I love my mother. Okay. So I'm not calling her out and I'm not saying anything negative about her. But when my grandmother was living, just to describe her, my grandmother was very petite. Like she was probably four feet, 10 inches tall. She was a very short statured woman. And so um, she, it was time to get a new toilet. Their toilet had broken. It was a regular high toilet. It was starting to run all the time. The plumbing wasn't good. So my mother was helping my grandmother get a new toilet. And instead of talking to her daughter who you know, does this for a living, who's an occupational therapist. I'm, I'm being a little cheeky. My mom loves me. Um, she went ahead and got a comfort height toilet for my grandmother. And so the thing is, if you are a petite, short statured person, or if you have family members are, are, are that comfort height toilets are not for them. And the reason being is when we use the toilet, we want to be able to sit on the toilet with our feet flat on the ground. That makes it so it's easier for you to keep your balance while you're getting on and off and while you are getting in the best position for yourself to wipe your bottom. So for my grandmother, when she had that tall toilet put in the bathroom, her feet didn't touch the ground. <laughs> I mean, the woman was practically jumping on and off the toilet. And it, so it didn't help her. It didn't work for her. And we had to make changes based off of that. So if you are like, for me, I'm five feet, four inches tall. So the comfort height toilet actually works great for me. But really, if you're five, three or under a comfort height toilet may not be the best option for you. So I just wanted to say that one caveat. There's just that one thing, you know, depending on your height. So um, I'm, I'm so glad that we could talk about this together. Now, if you are um, not sure if a comfort height toilet is going to work for you, I would highly recommend hiring an occupational therapist or a home safety consultant to come into your home and help you figure out if a comfort high toilet is for you or if it's not for you. So um, please uh, feel free to uh, send me any questions. I am on Instagram at stay at home solutions. You can private message me there. You can check me out on my website, stay at home solutions, kc.com which is in, um, if you use my link in the bio, you'll, you can get there pretty easily. Um, yeah, go ahead and ask me any questions. If you're trying to find an occupational therapist, or if you have more questions about comfort height toilets, 
I really, I really do recommend these are um, such a great option to keep your pretty bathroom. So you're not having to have a stool riser. Uh, you're not having to use a bedside commode and putting it over the toilet. This is something that you want to consider for the long term to stay in your home and stay safe going to the bathroom. Now, I will be doing these toilet talks for um, the rest of this month, so I really want you to come back, join me. Um, sorry, I got a message there really quick. <laughs> I want you to come back, join me at noon Central Standard Time on Instagram Live. Um, if you don't catch it live, not a problem at all. Just go to my IGTV. You can view this there. Um, if you are on virtualcare.com, that's V-I-R-T-U-A-L-K-A-R-E.com. Uh, these recordings will be there available at any time. Um, and, and so I want to tell you what's coming up. So next week, you know, these are just short shows. So on Toilet Talk next week, we are going to talk about grab bars and not the ugly grab bars that you think about in the hospital or nursing home. No, no, no. These are going to be beautiful grab bars that you can put in your bathroom uh, to help you go to the bathroom or shower, do whatever you need to do. And I do, I will have a special guest, so you really don't want to miss her. I have Dr. Emily Riley from Purposefully Home. She will be joining us talking about toilet or grab bars, excuse me. So you're really going to want to come next week. And uh, the next couple weeks, we're also going to talk about bathroom storage. So pretty ways for bathroom storage to keep everything you need close to you. And also bidet seats. So you don't want to miss out. So I will, I will bid you adieu. Here's one last wave to the toilet. Thank you, Comfort High Toilet. And um, please let me know if you do have any questions or if there's any kind of topics in the bathroom that you want to talk about and how to make your bathroom pretty, uh, please let me know. And I will be so happy to uh, address that and address any other questions. So thank you so, so much for joining me on Toilet Talk. We will talk about more products in the future. Please consider sharing this with a family member or friend who's having a hard time on the toilet and have a great day.